Hi friends, today we'll try to learn about National Human Rights Commission under 10 minutes. So let's start. Let us first understand what are human rights. Remember this word, DEL, that is dignity, E for equality, L for liberty, and L for life. These are the four which are termed as human rights. These are the rights which are guaranteed by our constitution. They are also enforceable by courts in India. Now, what do you mean by enforceable by courts in India? Whenever these rights are violated, we can directly approach the court. What is National Human Rights Commission? NHRC is a statutory body. What is a statutory body? Statutory body is a body which is set up by law. That means a bill is introduced in either house of the parliament and it's passed by both the houses. Then it gets a set of precedent and then the bill becomes law. The similar procedure was followed in 1993 and which led to the formation of Protection of Human Rights Act 1993. This act in turn led to the formation of NHRC that is National Human Rights Commission. The act said the commission will have one chairman and four members, four ex officio members and they'll have a tenure of five years and no person can be a member if he's aged about 70 years. Let us see who are the members of NHRC. NHRC will have one chairman who must be retired Chief Justice of Supreme Court. NHRC will have four other members which is divided into one, one and two. That is one member out of four must be serving or retired judge of Supreme Court one member out of four must be serving or retired chief justice of high court and the other two members must be the ones who have special knowledge and practical experience in human rights other than these five there are four more members who are ex officio members they are the chairmen of national commission of minorities scheduled caste scheduled tribe and women now what is ex officio member what does this ex officio member mean this means that they are not appointed separately. When they become the chairman of their respective commission, they automatically become the member of National Human Rights Commission. Now we will see who appoints these members. I have made a shortcut or mnemonic to remember this. That is pension funds for Dell in that P stands for Prime Minister, F stands for Finance Minister, S stands for Speaker, D for Deputy Chairman, and remember, there is no vice president or chairman of Rajya Sabha. There is leader of opposition of Lok Sabha and leader of opposition of Rajya Sabha. This is the committee which recommends the name to president and the president appoints them by warrant under his hand and seal. Under his hand and seal means the appointment will be authorized by president himself. Where he physically signs the appointment. In other cases, he takes the decision but he doesn't physically sign. It's done by secretary on his behalf. Let us look into removal of a member. There are three ways by which a member can be removed from NHRC. One is when the member gives a notice in writing under his hand addressed to president. The second is they are removed by order of president on the grounds of proved misbehavior. President may remove if the member is adjudged insolvent. Adjudged means declared by judge. Insolvent means person who is unable to pay his debt or whose liabilities exceed the value of owned assets. So adjudged insolvent means a person who is declared as an insolvent by judicial proceedings. President may remove if the person holds paid employment outside his office. This means if the member is involved in any other job which pays them outside being the member of National Human Rights Commission. President may remove if the member has infirmity of body or mind. That means a weakness or disability especially due to old age. Unsound is a person who is unable to manage him or his uh, duties. If they are subject to imprisonment for offense that is involving moral turpitude, if their offense violated sentiment or standard of any community, the violation is uh, 
decided by president himself what are the functions of the commission enquire intervene visit jails and detentions review study promote and spread as this is human rights commission everything is related to human rights that is enquire into any violation in human rights intervene in any proceedings which involves violation of human rights they visit jails and detentions to study the living conditions there they review the constitutional and other legal safeguards and also the acts of terrorism and they study treaties and other instruments which involves human rights they promote research in the field of human rights and they also promote awareness related to human rights they spread human rights literacy among people so that people are aware about human rights there are some important points to remember related to nhrc this may be asked in uh, mcqs that is if a sitting judge of supreme court or sitting chief justice of high court if they has to be at, appointed as a member then the consultation with chief justice of india is necessary nhrc has powers of civil court but they do not have any power to punish and their recommendations are not binding and nhrc can regulate its own procedures thank you i'll meet you in the next video